Chapter 4, Lesson 5, Convert Measurement Units. The rule when converting units is if the unit that you have is bigger and you're converting it to a smaller unit, then you're going to multiply. If the unit that you have is the smaller unit and you're converting it to a bigger unit, then you're going to divide. Example 1, convert 30 feet to inches. So we know that 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. So now I'm going to underline my larger unit. The unit with the 1 is always the larger unit. So feet is the larger unit. When we're converting to a smaller unit, that means we're going to use the operation multiplication. Bigger to smaller, we multiply. So I'm going to take what we have, which is 30 feet, and we're going to multiply it by 12 inches. This equals 360 inches. So 30 feet is 360 inches. Example 2, convert 13 yards to feet. So I know that 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. So that means yards is my bigger unit and yards is the unit that we have. So that means we're converting to a smaller unit. So bigger to smaller means we are going to multiply. So we take the unit that we're given in the problem, 13 yards, and we're going to multiply by the unit that we want to convert it to, 3 feet. So 13 times 3, we get 39 feet. So 13 yards is equal to 39 feet. Pause the video here and try these yourself to check for understanding. Example 3, convert 56 ounces to cups. So we know that one cup is equal to 8 ounces. So I'm going to underline my larger unit, which is cups. So we're going from a smaller unit to a bigger unit. So smaller to bigger means we're going to divide. So we take the unit that we're given in the problem, 56, and we're going to divide by the unit that we want to convert it to, 8. And we get 7 cups. So 56 ounces is equal to 7 cups. Example 4, convert 77 pints to quarts. So 1 quart is equal to 2 pints. So that means that quarts is our bigger unit so we're going from a smaller unit to a bigger unit. So the operation we're going to use, it's division. So we're going to take the unit that we have, 77, and we're going to divide by what we're converting it to, which is 2 pints. So we have 77 divided by 2. 2 goes into 7 3 times, which gives us 6. Bring down the 7. 2 goes into 17 8 times, which equals 16, so we have 38 and 1 over 2. So we get the numerator from the remainder and the denominator from our divisor. So 77 pints is equal to 38 and 1 half quarts. Pause the video here and try these yourself to check for understanding.
Example 5. Tim is building a coffee table and needs to cut a piece of wood to the length of 5 and 1 third feet. How many inches would this piece of wood be? So right now we know the length of the wood in feet and we want to convert it to inches. We know that 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. So the larger unit is feet. So that means we have a larger unit and we're converting it to a smaller unit. So the operation that we're going to use is multiplication. So we're going to take the amount that we were given, 5 and 1 third feet, and we're going to multiply by the number in front of the unit that we want to convert it to. So we want to multiply this by 12. So first we have to rewrite 5 and 1 third as 16 over 3 times, and then 12 we're going to put a 1 underneath, and now we're going to cross simplify. 3 can become 1, 12 can become 4. Now we have 16 times 4 over 1 times 1, so this gives us 24, 64. So we have 64 over 1, which is just equal to 64, and then we can't forget our units, so 64 inches.